Okay. Um, sometimes you may uh, uh, while studying calculus uh, or math, you think, why do we learn these things? What are these things for? All these complicated laws and regulations, what are they for? Now you can see that they are actually the laws of nature. And they uh, are, uh, this is actually, as you know, math and calculus, this is just a language for physics. So, <coughs> now, let's uh, look at this formula, for example. You know this formula. Displacement equals... Uh, Actually, this is V initial. In some, in some books, they say V zero. The same is actually they mean V initial. Same thing. And uh, in some books, it's written this way, uh, which is exactly the same thing. Just I uh, displaced. I just uh, uh, switched. Uh, doesn't make a difference. It's the same thing. Exactly the same thing. So uh, and uh, you know that. Velocity is actually um, mm, 80 plus VI, yeah? or uh, in some books, VI plus 80, exactly the same thing, right? Doesn't matter. So, now, um, but I want to tell you something. Do you remember that velocity is actually, um, let's keep this in mind that velocity is 80 plus VI, uh, but um, uh, do you remember uh, delta d over delta t is actually uh, velocity, right? The change in displacement o uh, over time, the change in displacement in the unit of time is actually velocity, right? So imagine that this change is not constant and you want to find the spontaneous velocity in certain situation. Uh, in that case, of course, you will find the limit of uh, delta d over delta t uh, uh, when the delta t is going towards zero and uh, in that case in that certain uh, t specific t you can find the uh, uh, in, uh, spontaneous velocity and of course uh, this is uh, you know what is this this is a definition of derivative right so derivative of displacement over uh, I mean, derivative of displacement, uh, when the t is your variable, this will be actually the uh, spontaneous velocity. This is now uh, uh, what you can understand and you know what this is. You have learned derivative, you can relate to this. So now, let's find the derivative of this one. Um, remember, this is your y, these parts are constant, and the, this is like a x, right? So the t, t in here is the x and the d is y. And, uh, but in order, I mean, as you know, always when you have like uh, displacement time, it's just like you have y, x, right? Uh, this is the same thing. I just uh, stick to the actual, this is just the alphabet, but this, the concept is the same. But uh, because I don't want you to mistake uh, between locations and uh, uh, actual uh, concepts I don't want to I use the actual alphabet so but you know what this is and you know these parts are constant so it's very easy to find the derivative of displacement in here uh, which is uh, this constant states and the power you know it comes down it multiplied and the power is reduced you know this um, and in here, uh, you have only vi, right? The, only the constant. So, uh, hmm, look at this. Uh, of, of course, these two are cancelling each other. So, this is actually 80 plus vi. Whoa, look at this. 80 plus vi. This is the v, actually. And you know this is v. You know this is v, yeah? So the derivative of displacement is the velocity, and it is actually the formula. So the fo there was a reason you had that formula. So you learn to der derive this formula uh, from uh, just simple algebra, but now you learn how to derive this formula using calculus. Um, 
and this is better because for situations when your acceleration is not constant and you have more complicated formula than this for example the power of t is bigger um, then you can always find uh, the formula for uh, velocity so um, now let's uh, do another thing in here let me see i'm going to use uh, another color uh, derivative of uh, velocity what about derivative of velocity this is velocity yeah let's find the derivative of velocity uh, derivative of velocity is obviously acceleration uh, because you know actually but let's remember the formula for acceleration again it was v final um, it was change in velocity over time right so uh, this this is actually delta v the change in velocity v final minus v initial is actually delta v right so change in velocity in one second is actually acceleration and definitely uh, if you are looking for a constant situation uh, sorry if, sorry when the acceleration is not constant and you're looking for a spontaneous situation or even if it is constant you always can also say you have a spontaneous situation so anyways the limit of this and of course, this is the derivative. Yeah, and then it goes to zero. This is derivative. So the derivative of v is actually a. And let's find that for our familiar formula. What is the derivative of this? Um, derivative of v is actually, look at this, only a. This part is zero, right? This part is zero because this is constant in here, yeah? So the only variable is this, and of course, this is the answer. So if you have practiced well um, the derivatives, you can easily uh, relate to what I am saying. And you can see that, uh, um, so in this case, of course, the acceleration is constant. And uh, look at here, for example, as you can see, we can also check it in the, we can also, uh, check this in in the graphs uh, in, this is obviously because there is a power of 2 is not a line anymore it's actually uh, curved yeah and if the v is positive of course this is getting uh, faster yeah so now um, let's find uh, the derivative of this of course you know the derivative of uh, this in every point, the definition of derivative is actually, uh, for example, in this case, is uh, the slope of this in every specific time, let's say t1, is actually the slope of the um, uh, graph at that point. So if you put a specific t in here, your v would be the slope of... Uh, uh, graph at that point and you can easily see that um, of course uh, the vt is the uh, derivative of this curve which is actually a, uh, a line and then what is the derivative of a line um, of course the derivative of a line is the slope of that line and as you can see in here in this case the slope is constant which is the constant a situation that you are always dealing with uh, solving your problems and all these formulas are uh, con considering a situation when the acceleration is constant uh, so uh, so i know in some countries uh, students have to learn calculus without a choice and they really always complain why are we learning this and uh, in some countries that the students uh, pick calculus based on their choice they even sometimes deep in their heart they think why are we what are these for now you know what these are for so stop whining <laughs>